Oh man, daddy's bringing you some goody goods. I think the last couple of videos I've given you some solid cheapies to work with. I brought back the cheapy ballin' on the budget brand. But right now, some of y'all got some deep pockets. Or some of y'all, like me, have wifey or girlfriend's credit card. And uh, you want to spend a little bit of floos. So the fragrance that I have today is not for the faint of heart. It's not cheap. But it's one of the fragrances that I like to put in my repertoire as far as making me think and really be analytical. And let's just be perfectly honest, it's sexy as shit, at least in presentation. Which shouldn't matter, but it does kind of matter sometimes. You know, we're all a little bit superficial. Just roll my music and let's find out what I'm talking about. The sexy Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who this is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Yeah, man. This is actually the first bottle from this brand that I have in my collection. I know. Because, you know, they're a little costly and, you know, daddy doesn't always have the box. But when I do, I, I tend to spread them out properly. And I wanted to go a little bit against the grain, so I copped this fragrance. And the fragrance is none other than by Killian's Light My Fire. Let me take it out of the box for you. Just want to show you the little presentation and coughing it comes in. It's a little morbid, no? Even the pictures that I've seen of uh, Killian Hennessy, it's always like, rest in peace and type shit, Undertaker joint. But listen, I fuck with you. Black Phantom is one of my favorites from this house. I haven't smelled a ton of them, but Black Phantom is definitely one of my favorites from this house. It's just one of those fragrances that really keeps me intrigued and keeps me wrapped up right here. This one, I smelled a little bit of it in a Killian boutique, but it was really on a paper waff, and I don't want only a fragrance that smells absolutely off the chain. I want something that's gonna leave a mark. I want it to smell amazing. I want it to put me in a particular mind frame. I want it to make me think. I want it to make me analytical. I want it to make me go back and back and back and really determine if I love it or not. This upon the initial spray, I wasn't blown away, but I was like, damn, let me go back. It's changing. It's changing again. And those are the fragrances that get me excited and encourage me to keep them in my collection because they're making it work. You don't want the easy chick all the time. You want a chick that makes you work a little bit. She's gonna make you wait two weeks or three weeks to get the butt because she's not only smart, but she's packing, you know, the litty two titties and the fat ass. You know what I'm saying? It's just an, it's a, it's a whole combination package. And this fragrance does that for me. It's sweet, it's dirty. It's a little mossy, it's woody, it's incense -y. it's got vanilla in it. And that's the joint that keeps me intrigued, that makes me go, ah, woody, mossy, vanilla, honey, a little dirt, incense. It makes you feel like you're chilling. You bought some high-end maple or oak to throw in your fireplace, for those of y'all who got fireplaces. Balling. I got a trash bin that you just throw fancy wood in, light that hole up on fire, and hope the fire marshal doesn't kill you. Beautiful, smoky, delicious burning wood, vanilla, essences of honey, and some fucking, you know, the, the dry moss, you just throw in the, light the bitch on fire. Yo. Now hype, turn up. <laughs> Turbo the strippers here. <laughs> it's not that. It's elegant, sexy, dark, cozy, warm, winter. Let me drink some nice brandy. Let me smoke a cigar. Let me pull up by the fireplace. Let me get third degree burns from the after fire. Killian's whole like repertoire, it's all about dark, mysterious, something behind the, you know, something, something behind the curtain that's ready to pop out and surprise you. Makes me wanna buy more Killian shit and really like dig into all of them and see what story this dude is trying to portray. What's the mystery behind you other than the fact that you come from mad paper and uh, mad dudes in the hood respect your family because Henny is Henny and for those of y'all who drink that dark shit, whoo, I can't fuck with cognac. I can't, you know, it makes me do random things. I end up like, you know, the dude with man tits and coyote ugly on the bar flapping his titties and shit trying to get $3, it's, it's not a go. So with that being said, light my fire. Is it a ball spare? Oh, for sure. Jesus Christmas. I can see how this may, some people may not be into this and it's cool. Every, mo every nose is different, every vibe is different. 
It's got a even it's got a little medicinal flow to it right now. But man, is it see? It just brings you that's like aromatherapy, it brings you down a little bit. Mm. Feels like I just dipped my balls in a fireplace. I love y'all motherfuckers. I hope y'all enjoy my shit. Follow me on Instagram, social media, Facebook, ball bags, MySpace, all that shit. Whatever you wanna follow me on, follow me. See you B A K N O W. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and the balls. Especially the balls that are dipped in fireplace ash. I'll see y'all motherfuckers next time. You know who this is, this is your boy. Smooches!